Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Danny, and today we have an action-packed vlog in Amsterdam, okay? You're able to rent a car, but I'll show you later that it is very pedestrian-friendly and public transport-friendly. That being said, please be mindful of conversions. If you're used to Fahrenheit, you might have to switch over to Celsius. And I forgot to share this in other vlogs because Amsterdam is not the only place that does this, but be mindful of the dates. When you're booking something, or even more importantly, catching a flight, say you have a date that says June 10th, 2020, 25 right you're gonna see 10 slash 6 slash 25 you're not gonna see 6 slash 10 slash 25 and that is because the date comes first with formatting so it's not much of an issue with like double digits but if it's single digits make sure you're not getting that confused and you think oh okay that means october 6th no 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 so make sure you know about the dates as far as places to stay so i'd say amsterdam is kind of average or a little above average the euro is stronger language is dutch and the currency is the euro i'll get into that later but as far as places to stay i'm going to show you a variety of places in this vlog and some really unique stays too i'm unloading a lot of information right now but i promise you it is important and don't worry I'm gonna show you Amsterdam from a bunch of different angles and different areas you have the city central you have beautiful countryside and everywhere in between also we're gonna run grab some snacks real quick I love doing little snack and supermarket shopping and also this is a great place for bakeries picking out flowers just really nice cute little things that being said you have Amsterdam central station we're not quite there yet but Amsterdam Central is very popular, but the price of things will go up. Accommodations, restaurants, purchases. If you're curious, I encourage you to safely explore outside of some of the must-see or main areas of Amsterdam. There are some super cute neighborhoods, street markets, things to see, places to explore. I feel pretty safe as a solo traveler. I would say just use your street smarts while you are visiting. So here we are at a little underground parking garage. We're going to go check out a quick street market. You can get clothes food electronics miscellaneous items and depending on where you're coming from while the euro might be stronger for you i love that the euro is just the euro so if something says it costs five euros it's five euros flat no extra taxes on top of that no you know mystery calculations when you get to the register it's just straight up five euros Feel free to do your own research on the tipping culture as well. I believe it's not as common, but I try not to comment on things too much because things are always changing. That being said, I want to talk about coffee shops too and cannabis shops. They are everywhere. There is a open cannabis culture here, but be mindful of smoking rules and be mindful of what you consume. As well as what cafes you step into because some are smoke shops where you can smoke and those are not regular treats or pastries that you might be looking for. Anyways, we stopped for lunch, all right? Got some really, really delicious food. I feel like Amsterdam is a great hub for international food. There's so many different cuisines you could try here. Two of my favorite stores are Albert Hein and Dirk from the Brook. They have the most delicious pastries, food selection. I feel so much healthier when I'm in Europe eating. I don't know what it is about the food selection, but it's really, really lovely. Please be mindful that you have to bring your own bags or purchase bags. And usually it is custom to bag your own groceries. So the cashier will check you out and then it's up to you to like bag your stuff or if you have a backpack to put things in so just be mindful of that it could be a bit of a culture shock went and got some fries Ooh. yeah so this is plums of free every place is gonna say they have the best ones you can eat it with mayo or these special sauces and they're so good and they're definitely some amazing dutch food you could try too they have a lot of good sweets they have like puffages, Dutch pancakes, throop waffles, which is so good. Oh my bad, I'm talking about food and then I panned over to trash. So I did a walking tour, it was very informational. I learned that the garbage cans, the containers are underground, which is really cool. And then also there are these hooks for people who have very steep and narrow stairs. You can move furniture in through the windows. Yeah, okay. And also, by the way, there are some very steep and narrow stairs in Amsterdam. Be mindful of that. Not every place has elevators if they're older buildings. I'd say Amsterdam's a mix of modern architecture and traditional buildings. Very beautiful. But be mindful of that if you have any physical limitations or you have heavy luggage, you might have to go up these steep, narrow stairs. That's not for all places. It's just some of the older traditional buildings. 
things or it depends on where you're staying. This is one of my favorite meals, y'all. Oh my goodness. Again, great international hub for food. So many delicious things to eat. It is a great place to shop too. Like I was showing y'all earlier, I got some cute stationery. Whether you're actually in physical shops or you're at the street markets, which I support just as much. They are so lovely. Amsterdam's definitely a cute little scene. Whether you're in the city, living your city life, whether you're on the countryside, I'm thinking about bikes, boats, pedestrian friendly places. You can go sit in a cafe, get yourself a coffee or tea and just relax. Sit in one of the many very nice parks and have a little picnic or sit by the canal side. Be careful, the canal sides are just open. It's just like it's water and then it's the wall. So be really careful, especially if you're gonna be wandering into the coffee shops, okay? A little more shopping, I'm showing y'all some cakes, more pastries, food. I know you're like, Danny, where's Central Station? Where's the Dom Square? Where's the red light district? It's coming. Is coming. All right. I'll be returning y'all to the good hands of the original audio. Don't worry, but this was a personal family trip with personal conversations. So enjoy the voiceovers and information before we really get into it. I figured I'd show you my little cute montage and show you that there are other areas outside of Amsterdam. Again, just be mindful of the neighborhood you're in, but there are still some really cool things to see outside of Amsterdam Central and the Dom Square and all that too. And like I said, the accommodations might be cheaper. Also, make sure you bring a reliable pair of walking shoes. Check the weather before you go out. You might need an umbrella. I've seen a lot of bent up umbrellas in the street. And be careful of bike lanes because there's a lot of bikes here. Again, save a little room in your suitcase for some shopping. If you're curious, I feel like there are a lot of stylish places you can get clothes, shoes, whatever you might be looking for. One of my favorite stores is Hema, which is kind of like stationary, miscellaneous, a whole bunch of cute little items. And while it might not be all of them, I believe the bring your own bag or pay for a bag does apply to some shops too. Oh wow y'all, not us leaving before the vlog even gets started. When I say I've been to Amsterdam plenty of times, y'all, I've lost track genuinely. So you can also come in on a bus or a train like I mentioned from neighboring cities and countries. It is a great hub to go check out other places nearby. This is me coming in on the bus. And also you get to see a little bit of the countryside. I know these are wind turbines, but that being said, when you're coming into Amsterdam, depending on where you're coming from, you might see animals roaming in the field. You might see some windmills and villages, or you might have to go out your way to see those things, but they are available. One of my favorite things to do when I get here, like I said, go straight to the shop, get myself some smoothie, healthy food, salads, sandwiches, whatever it might be. Go ahead and get a transportation card. As I showed y'all, I'll explain that more later and then get on my merry way. All right, so I said this vlog had three trips, but I would say three and a half. So I came in from another neighboring country and I only came through Amsterdam just to leave. Uh, Skuskupul has really good flights, some really good deals and connections. It's a great international airport, so I won't even count this stop. But y'all, this is me returning. This time I came in on the Eurostar from a neighboring country. So I will show y'all Amsterdam's highlights. Please ensure that your luggage does not bug the doorways. Safety information cards can be found. We wish you a very pleasant journey on board your roster. So boom, we are back. What's up y'all? We are now in Central Station. I need to go ahead and get a tram card. I just got off the train. Please don't get the transportation cards mixed up as well because there are different cards for different modes of transportation. Some cover like everything like oh, buses, metro, tram, etc. Other things are like no, if you need a train ticket, that's separate. So be mindful of that. The tram ticket I got is for an hour. It means as soon as I tap my card on the tram, my time is ticking. After an hour, it'll expire and also make sure tapping out when you get out of certain transportation so tap in and then i get off my stop i tap out so i can still make sure the card is valid that being said 
after the hour my card expires now that's just an example they do have longer cards you can get one for like a day three days i believe two and they also have like long-term transportation cards but if you're just here for a few days feel free to grab one of those and be mindful of the night buses or the schedules for transportation because say you go out and party and you need to get back to your accommodation You might be wondering if I'm ever going to show you Central Station or if I'm just going to keep showing you shopping at the supermarket for snacks. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. We're getting there. So I'm on my way to Sloterdijk right now, which is a huge transportation hub and where I'm going to be staying for one of the places I was reviewing. You may see on a booking that you have the option to book to or from Sloterdijk. So that is a hub you are able to leave from. You also have Museum Plain, a whole bunch of museums in that area. Lights of Plain, which is kind of the nightlife hub partying bars and a variety of other sections in amsterdam it is well known for its distinct houses iconic streets and very scenic canals and you're able to take a boat ride on those canals you're also able to go to the anne frank house visit museums do tours have a wine and cheese tasting depending on the season you could pick fresh fruits or go see the tulips and the beautiful flowers growing or during the holiday season, there are some beautiful holiday markets and Oli Bolin, which is my favorite. Don't mind me, I am on some side quests right now, getting settled before I get back to the main mission. If you're curious about any of these places I'm showing you, I do have longer review videos on them too, but I will say they were expensive, okay? There are some major housing issues going on and the cost of accommodations has gone up. I mentioned being cautious with Central Station because the prices will be hiked up, but also make sure you're booking your accommodations in advance, especially if it's the holiday season. Even on the outskirts, some of these accommodations can get very pricey. Wow, those are all bikes. As you can see, it's a very rainy and windy day. I was here around November at the time of these clips and it was quite cold as well, so be mindful of that. But I found a stand selling Oli Bolin. I was excited. y'all join me on another side quest honestly this is why it took so long to get the amsterdam vlog up because i've already left europe that being said there was so much to do that i was like you know what let me compile all the footage together and make a cohesive vlog for y'all i am staying in the north all right like i said if you're staying on the outskirts there is enough transportation to make sure you get to where you need to get there is also a free ferry that goes from the north to central i'll show y'all that very shortly but right now just checking into yet another place I try to be cautious about generalizing a place or the people, but I would say the energy was very direct, 
but helpful. If you need help with anything, say you're lost or you're confused by something, the locals will help you out and it is very English friendly. It's also very card friendly, but I'd say still keep cash on you like actual euros in case you go to a street market or you never know if you're having a little emergency or whatever. That being said, a little culture shock, all right? I remember when I came to Europe one time and I saw people preparing food without gloves and I said, oh, okay. But apparently that is the norm in some places. It is not a legal requirement or so I've read. However, hygiene is still very important. So say you go to the supermarket, as you saw, I was getting bread. You can use the little gloves they have there and get your stuff. Anyways, while we're here, all right, let's go ahead and talk about the red light district because I will not be displaying it in this vlog. First and foremost, please do not film the workers there. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, the red light district, basically they are adult workers and they are behind these windows these like red lined windows and they're you know nude or scantily clad or whatever it is and they are working all right there are streets you can go down and it's known as the red light you can do tours as well please watch your pockets okay pickpockets are an issue these tight little alleyways all that it is a huge part of both the culture and the curiosity of those visiting oh the red light i'll go to central I'll go to coffee shops and smoke and of course there's so much more to amsterdam than that like i said you have parks and museums and the history you're gonna see wheels of cheese outside shops and the clogs the traditional clogs that are being worn like you'll see a lot of cool stuff but a lot of people are pretty excited about the whole like you know the risque part of it Please be street smart about whatever you choose to get into. And also there are tours available if you want a safe and local guide to kind of show you that side of things. Right now, I will be showing you Central. Woohoo, finally, there we go. <laughs> it is a very rainy day. I'm taking the free ferry. And we are currently crossing over to Central Station. I believe I learned that Amsterdam has more bikes than people on a tour and also they do fall in the canals and have to get pulled out. Alright, so right now I'm walking from Amsterdam Central Station down to the Dam Square. Some of these alleyways lead down some really cute streets, but again, please watch your pockets and your person. the wheels of cheese i was just telling y'all about but yeah amsterdam's a cute little stop sandwich shops cafes again please make sure you're in the right cafe shopping all of it Love for your enemies. Love for enemies. 
Oh yeah, and there's usually always something going on in the Dom Square. There's pigeons, somebody's feeding them. Sometimes there's characters, Darth Vader, Spider-Man, they might want tips. Usually people advertising stuff. Also, I'm sure y'all can kind of tell by the video, but it's usually extremely busy no matter the season. Y'all, when I think of this city, I think about bikes and I think about boats. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm just now talking to y'all. I showed you a bunch of footage, of course, but we are in Amsterdam today. It is very cold. It is very rainy. It's not always like this. Right now, it is the beginning of November, so the weather is not the best. But I'm going to show y'all multiple clips from multiple trips. And hopefully you can have a cohesive, you know, a cohesive view of Amsterdam. But... I'm not gonna stay out too long. <laughs> it's rainy, but I have some footage where it's not rainy, so I'll be showing y'all that. Right now, I'm at Rijksmuseum. Oh, and we just came from Central, uh, Central. I can't talk right now, it's so cold. We just came from Central and Dumb um, Square. So I'm just cruising around right now on the trams. I forgot to also mention that I believe you can use your bank card now and you can also get like an OV chip card if you don't want to get the single use tickets just so you can make your money stretch a little better. And no worries, by the time this vlog ends, I will be showing y'all a sunny day in Amsterdam too and a very special holiday. It is King's Day, formerly known as Queen's Day. You gotta wear orange, celebrate the royals, all right? But stay tuned. All right, y'all, so as you can see, plan your trip accordingly. <laughs> It's November, so I would look up the best time to come to Amsterdam. I'm here for unrelated reasons from travel, but I decided to give you all this vlog anyways. Language is Dutch. It's an English-friendly city, not that you're entitled to it, but you are able to get around. Currency is Euro. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Affordability is average, but the prices, I've noticed the prices of some accommodations have gone up, but I think that's everywhere in the world at this point. And I'll talk to you in a bit, it's really cool, so. I will see y'all. Right now, I think I'm in a museum plane. All right, y'all, a coffee break is perfect for this weather. On this trip, I learned that I love using the tram so much that I didn't even register that my GPS was telling me to take the underground metro when I tried to get over here. All right. 
right, this is the last side quest. We are trying indoor camping, another place to stay. Like I said, there's some cool places on the outskirts of Amsterdam and these mini cards. I've been seeing them for years. I believe they offer like discounts and information on a bunch of stuff you're able to do while you're in the city. Or if you're looking for a chill place to relax where you can have a sense of community but still have your own privacy, this is indoor camping, which was near the city of Amsterdam. You just gotta catch the train real quick and you know, uh, well, I, I figured it out. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, ended up here and this is a really cool experience too. Enjoyed myself for sure, like the unique places I was able to stay. And again, another side quest, all right? But we are about to wrap up the Amsterdam vlog. I am gonna show y'all King's day though i'm so excited Hey y'all, we are at Schiphol. I just took the train and had Wi Fi. Please make sure you get a train ticket and not a tram ticket. They're different. GVB or something like that. Oh no, our vlog is coming to an end soon. Y'all, they got stroop waffles and puffages at the Albert Hein inside the Skabul and Bunnikuken, all of that, all the good stuff. Anyways, I love hanging out at the airport because it's a really, really great airport. There's plenty of outlets, places to sit, and I don't know what type of technology they got, but I've been able to bring my water bottle through. Don't quote me on it, okay? And check with the people working there because rules are always changing. But yeah, I almost like try to, you know, gulp down all my water. They're like, no, no, no you could bring it through caught my little flight home okay but honestly i felt like well at least in this vlog by the time i turned around and went back to amsterdam and the netherlands in general for king's day this time it felt like i had just like time traveled or time warped over there so yes this is yet another flight home away from amsterdam and give it a few more seconds and we're back All right, so this was a very lively experience. You got live music, everyone's wearing orange, partying on boats, dancing, drinking, whatever it is. Like everybody was having a really great time. This was really cool to experience. The energy was just so intense. It was a bit rainy today, I believe, a bit cloudy, but people still showed up and showed out. You had people selling things, you had people providing drinks, you had talent okay people were djing right outside of their windows to provide the vibe People sure know how to party. It was getting a little intense, so my friends and I went to go take a little lunch break and get some relaxation in a little park, and then we decided to get back out there. This is my very first time experiencing this holiday, and it was wild. I also heard there were some major festivals going on and during the day people had turned the streets into markets and sold stuff. Y'all, the people were here to party. I also learned about King's Night, which is the night before King's Day. People go out, they party, and then the next day, you're out on the street enjoying yourself, etc. So this was a really great way to celebrate while in the Netherlands. I'm glad I got to experience it. Yeah,
And we cannot forget the hidden gem Fibo, late night vending machine food such as croquettes when you are hungry. That is all y'all. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure to Amsterdam. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully it was informational and exciting. If you were going, I hope you have a great time. Feel free to read up on some more tips and things to know, but I think it's a very enjoyable city and just check what season you're going so you could figure out what type of experience you might have. Keep an eye on the weather, check out some things, museums, eat some good food, sip on some coffee, you know, all that good stuff. Like I always say, but thank you for joining me and I will see y'all on the next adventure. Bye.